Hello, this is David Liebs, and I'm going to give you a demo of the new Coherence 3.6 command line tool. And uh, before I get started, I want to make a point that all Coherence users should really know. Uh, we, we ship Coherence uh, with a number of shell scripts in the bin directory, and I think you should take uh, those as examples, take them and make copies of them and make them your own. That is the, the first thing I do. And here's an example of a command line uh, tool launching shell script that I use that uh, is broken out in a way that makes it easy for me to set up uh, which directories are going to be on the class path, uh, what I'm going to use uh, for the config file, um, and some other things like that. And I have conventions embodied in this that let me control where the coherence home is and the uh, JLine home uh, directories are uh, with uh, shell variables. And this just makes it very, very easy uh, for me to work with it. Likewise, I also uh, just have my own little uh, launcher things on my Mac that lets me just double click and crank up a cache server and double click and crank up my command line tool. So we're ready to go. Now, before we get going, uh, one, of my, one of my motivations uh, in building the command line tool was to try and build a tool that lets developers and administrators do simple things on a cache or test out a, a cache and not have to go off and write one-off uh, Java classes to do some work. So we're going to be working with uh, example cache and we're you know, I've got a class called city and a class called city info, and it's basically uh, you're working with uh, a city name, a state, and a set of area codes and a set of zip codes. And uh, to work with this, I used uh, Mathematica and wrote some code that uh, used Wolfram Alpha's curated data and sucked out information about cities uh, that are of a size over 100,000 people and yanked out zip codes and area codes and that and then generated myself a whole slew of insert statements which you can see here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off and make a make a cache and then we're going to load that data in. So the way you do that uh, is so we'll go with city info. And now I'm just going to read in that file. Hopefully it, it read it. And we can we can start querying it now. Ha! -ha it just spewed a, a bunch of stuff at us. So now we can poke around and, and see what the query language can do a little bit. Got 268 of them. Seems. Sounds good. And there they are. Once again, looks good. Now, uh, the SQL syntax is overloaded a bit because rather than being a database, 
coherence is uh, an interface onto maps. So that's key value pairs. So we actually have uh, a little bit uh, extended syntax here. So I can say select key from uh, city info. The insert statement, let me, let's look at that again real quick. You notice it says insert in the city info value uh, and then I basically I'm using the the literal object form that uh, is a superset of JSON uh, to specify that and the convention with the insert statement is to uh, if you don't explicitly give it a key it's going to send uh, get key to the object which is a sort of a, a reasonable idiom. We can select uh, let's say zip codes city info where name equal Dallas and there we have it the zip codes in Dallas well, let's select name from city info where let's see zip code greater than four and I'm getting some kind of error let's see what it says it's a mistake it's zip codes there we go so these are all the ones that have and the number of zip codes are greater than four let's try something else we've got something in the uh, the cache that isn't right so let's make it let's just make those go away actually I'm going to use command line editing is that what we want to do yeah it's cheap let's do it anyway there we go so we seem to have uh, fixed the cache let's just do a couple more queries and see what what's going on okay so that's the uh, zip codes in Dallas uh, that just happens to be wrong I happen to know there's a, a 469 uh, area code there now as well maybe my maybe my data is a little old so we can fix it okay and there we go all good so anyway that gives you just a quick taste of using the new coherence command line tool uh, there's a lot of commands in there and you can find out the details with help and it babbles on at, at length you'll notice there's an interesting uh, set of commands uh, for kicking it off on the command line so you can arrange to uh, either execute commands and then immediately quit you can load the contents of files and the, and the files can be any of the legal coherence query commands and etc cetera, etc cetera. read about it at your leisure